Another classic, getting a woke makeover. Yeah, creativity is gone. They continue to bring back these classics only to ruin them. This time, a league of their own. We'll get into all the details of it here in less than 10 seconds. First, guys, if you could, if YT lets you, try and hit that like button for me. Also, very important, you please share the video, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. And if you guys could donate here to my ministry to help support what I do, see more information in the description. So many of you saw this movie back in 1992. So we got some, you know, younger viewers here. Maybe, you know, you weren't even born yet at that time, but uh, what a movie it was, A League of Their Own. Again, 1992, the classic all-female baseball team movie. I mean, this movie did, you know, all sorts of numbers, right? It's a big classic. And, you know, I'm one of those that says, look, if, if there's a classic, you should just leave it alone, right? Don't don't bother to bring it back. You know, I mean, if you want to do sequels and, you know, keep it, you know, within the main, you know, you know idea of the, the movie, the show, whatever, okay, that's fine. Some sequels could be fine. But all these years later, 30 some odd years later, you want to bring it back and now you want to make it woke? Don't do that. But they're doing it anyway. And so you have now a league of their own. They're turning this now into a series. So it's not going to be some new movie, but it's going to be a new series. And it is now officially debuted on Amazon Prime. And the show's co-creator, Abby Jacobson, who also uh, stars here in the new series, talked about where they're going to take the movie, well, now show, next. And basically, it's going to be a big coming out party. That's right. Uh, Full-on rainbow everything in this new series, guys. It's going to be focusing on two of the main characters in particular that have well, many queer tendencies. This will be addressed throughout the series. And guess what? They even brought back Rosie O'Donnell, who was in the original film back in 1992. Now, remember, it was about 10 years later after that, in 2002, that Rosie O'Donnell came out, in fact, as a lesbian. And the show's co-creator, Abby Jacobson, talking about the fact that, well, Rosie O'Donnell is going to be returning. But what's kind of weird about this is that she's not actually returning in her old role. She's actually coming back as an entire new character altogether. Uh, I'll tell you that in a second. But let me put a quick plug in here, guys, for my Patreon. Look, guys, if you only watch my videos through YT Alerts, you're going to miss a ton because they barely send them anymore. So check out the description. Sign up on my Patreon for five bucks a month. When you do, you'll be alerted for all the content I put out. Also, you can comment there censorship free and send me direct messages. And then, hey, if you want, you can even go check me out over on PayPal and make a donation to the ministry over there if you would prefer to go that route. All those links are down below. A big thank you to everybody who's already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. So as I mentioned here, Rosie O'Donnell is going to be back, but this time uh, not to reprise her role as the, the third baseman uh, previously in the film. No, she's coming back now as uh, the owner of a gay bar. That's right. Well, reportedly, uh, the girls of the team are going to be meeting up at where they have to, I guess, sneak into late at night so nobody knows that they're at the gay bar here. Uh, and reportedly... One of the scenes in the film shows, you know, cops raiding the bar late at night and then all the girls on the team have to, you know, run out of the place and get out of there. So a completely different character for Rosie O'Donnell compared to her original that she played. Uh, they went on here to talk about the fact that these two, you know, main characters, and this is what's weird because they're both involved with a man. But uh, their feelings for one another are going to become more apparent as the show continues to go on uh, as they have this rainbow love. 
that will blossom for each other, despite the fact that they are both in uh, relationships with other men. Nevertheless, that is the direction that the show is going to take. They're even going to uh, throw in a few aspects of the trans stuff in there as well. Uh, one of the characters, Ants, uh, in fact, uh, leaning in that direction. So it, this sounds like, and this is what the, the let me say this, because the creator said this, that although the original film did not have anybody in it that was gay, she says, what? but it's, it's an iconic gay movie. She goes on to say, this is Abby Jacobson. It's an iconic gay movie. And so we are now going to be expanding that here into the new series. And we're going to be telling these new stories, these new queer stories. <laughs> this sounds like a, a, a pile of trash is what it sounds like to me. And I hope that it's a huge flop on Amazon Prime as they try to continue to bring back these classics, twist them with their woke nonsense make look no one ever learns and they're not going to okay society is going to continue to go in this direction right embracing immorality calling evil good good evil everything that the bible said it was going to happen is now playing out right before our eyes i say this all the time i'm going to continue to say it satan knows his time is short okay he knows that his eternity is going to be spent in the pit so Knowing that he only has a little time left, do you think he's just standing by in the corner, you know, cowering and, and just waiting for God to, to kick him in there? No. He's going to be on the loose, doing everything that he can to deceive the nations, to cause as much chaos as he can, take as many people with him as he can. That's his goal. That's his strategy. That's what he's doing. And we'll continue to call it out here. Guys, I'll have more information on this for you in the description you can let me know your thoughts did you like the original film a league of their own what do you think about the new series let me know uh also again the links to donate to our ministry are below it is a great blessing if you can help us out with that but i'm not done just yet because i don't end any video here without giving people the opportunity to receive jesus as our lord and savior if that's you you're watching right now you're someone that has not yet accepted christ into your life i want to lead you in a prayer right now to get you to do just that this is a prayer that you can do in your own words, but I will give you the steps that you need to bring it before the Lord today. The first thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That's something that we all are. But I'll tell you the good news. God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin. Not just to say you're sorry, but to turn from lifestyles or habits, anything in your life that goes against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and you ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away. And the Bible says that he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. and You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, I'll have more information on this for you down below. You can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing if you could help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.